The Aeronautical Development Agency has released a tender for the supply of 1S24 scale model of the AMCA fighter jet, and the bid has been awarded to the Bangalore-based private sector company Precision Model Designers, that will deliver the scale model within the next 50 days. The Aeronautical Development Agency has also provided the dimensions of the full-scale AMCA fighter jet, so that the 1S24 scale model dimensions are derived accurately. As per the document, the full-scale AMCA will have a length of 18.09 meters, height of 4.51 meters, and a wingspan of 11.13 meters. To display the missile configuration, the scale model will also be equipped with missile models, that includes the ASRAM, SPICE 2000, Astra missile, smart anti-airfield weapon, scalp long-range cruise missile, the Tara high-speed low-drag missile, and the Shudder sun laser guided bomb. The Aeronautical Development Agency has also released a second tender, for the fabrication of consoles and windscreen for AMCA mock-up cockpit, that will be used for the evaluation and finalizing the cockpit controls, that includes left-hand and right-hand console, center console with colored multifunction display mounting bracket, head-up display mounting bracket, and the windscreen arch frame with bubble. The Combat Vehicles Research and Development Establishment has also released a tender for the procurement of two units of PCB miniature triaxial accelerometer, and two units of low-noise cables, that will be used for testing the power takeoff shaft of the AMCA. A naval group official has said, that the company will work closely with the Indian Navy and Indian industry to prepare the future evolution of submarines, and propose the best-in-class future submarine with advanced propulsion system and weapons for the future use of the Indian Navy. Naval Group will showcase its SMX-31E submarine design at the forthcoming Defence Expo 2022, which will remain technologically superior over the 40 years of submarine's life cycle. The 3,200-ton SMX-31E will be a fully electric submarine, and its batteries will provide an endurance of more than 60 days of operations. It will feature vertical launch system with 24 heavy weapons, and will be crewed by only 15 sailors, as it will feature a higher level of automation. India has equipped many indigenously built warships with the American LM2500 engines from General Electric, but a majority of Indian Navy's Russian-designed warships are still powered by Ukrainian gas turbine engines, for which the Navy could face a disturbed supply of critical spares and other components in the coming months. The DRDO has already developed a cavalry marine gas turbine engine, that can be used to power small warships of 2,500 tons. The gas turbine research establishment has plans to develop a marine gas turbine engine, that will be based on the 125 kN jet engine that it plans to develop with France. The Indian government has started the process of reviewing the strategically important sectors that is likely to be hit hardest by the Western sanctions on Russia, and is devising mechanisms to deal with the situation. An official has said, that India and Russia have already established a rupee-ruble arrangement for government-to-government -government transactions, therefore, it is unlikely to be affected by these sanctions and will continue for most payments. The Russian ambassador has also said today, that the delivery of S-400 system is immune from US sanctions. He also said, that new mechanisms are in place, to ensure that the defense trade continues, and it will also be vital that Indian partners adjust to the current situation. The CEO of Hyderabad-based company Magnum Wings has said, that the company will soon unveil and demonstrate its MW Viper unmanned aerial vehicle at the Defense Expo 2022, that could potentially replace the manned helicopters used for surveillance. The UAV can carry a payload of 20 kg, and has a maximum takeoff weight of 50 kg. It has a maximum speed of 200 km per hour for a period of 3 hours, and has a service ceiling of more than 1,000 feet. The UAV is 90% indigenous, and the company is searching for research partners that can help procure the remaining 10% components from within the country.
Thank <laughs> you.